The team will be fighting come tomorrow evening, 9 o'clock, for more than just a Game 5 victory. News Channel 5 reporter John Kosick joining us live right now on the Night Beat with more. John. Hey, Ted, 53 years ago, the Willie Mays-led New York Giants won the World Series here in Cleveland down at the old Municipal Stadium. It's a type of victory that a new generation of fan cares not to witness. At 9 tonight, Cavs fans were still dreaming as they glanced up at the huge championship trophy. In their hearts, their team is still in it to win it, but at very least, they don't want the Spurs to win it here. Especially with the drive, how the drive happened here and everything with Cleveland sports, it will be huge. It will be uh, devastating to us. What will happen tomorrow night makes for some great debate among the game's elite. Dr. J for one says the Cavs beat some good teams and with LeBron alone, maybe could have even beaten Houston or Phoenix. But against this team that they're playing, let's deal with the reality of the moment. They, they, uh, he does need more to, to beat that team. But the man Dr. J lost to in his first NBA Finals 30 years ago says this one ain't over. Cavs fans need only look to the 96 Bulls who were leading Seattle three games to none. Seattle has the next two games at home. They win both of those games. And then everything changed and Seattle finds their game. Unfortunately, the Bulls found theirs in one and six. Bad analogy. Like the fans downtown, let's just think happy thoughts tonight. That's what Taylor Hicks is doing. The American Idol winner is in town to sing tomorrow's national anthem. Any nerves? Yeah, you always get nervous <laughs> doing that. You know, it's, it's not an easy song to sing, but, but I've, I've had a couple of cracks at it, so. And here's the thing, American Idol winner Jordan Sparks sung before game one last week and the home team won, so here's hoping. Reporting live on the night beat at the Q, John Kasich, News Channel 5. Okay, John, thanks very much. So.